everyone, my name's Ava. And my name's Alexis. And we're the, the Blue Twins. Twins. And, and today, today they have a special guest, which is me, your brother. <laughs> and um, today we're going to be making spooky Halloween dye lantern. DIY, not dye. Oh, okay. Di <laughs> sorry. Today? today we're going to be making spooky Halloween DIY lanterns. Yes. Ooh. What it looks like when we're done. So this is something you can do yourself at home and you can follow along with us. Yes. So the materials you're gonna need is first some felt. You can use choose any colors and these are the colors we chose, red, orange, black, and white. So the second thing you need is tape or glue. So you need something sticky that will hold your creation to your leaf. And the first thing you need is a paper lantern like this. It doesn't matter what size the paper lantern is. We got the big, a big one, but you guys can get any size you want. Yes. And, the and the last thing we have, we have is cheesecloth. Cheese 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 when I went to the store, I only found white, and I wanted black as an option too, because it's spooky season. So in order for them to have black, I actually used Ritz dye and dipped this in, and we dyed this black. So now we have black and white. It doesn't have to be cheesecloth it just has to be like a like cloth cheese that's cloth. like really um see-through see-through and light like this. And what you're going to do with the cloth is drape it over slash put it over it and you're going to cover it with it so you can make your lantern more spooky okay guys let's get started so the first thing you need to do is get like some paper and draw on like the spooky face or the spooky stuff you want then you want to get your felt and really you could trace it on your felt and Cut it out. You could do any type of shape, or maybe you could do letters or numbers. Doesn't really matter. Just make it unique and your own. When you have the paper, you have to cut the um, like the design out, and then you have to put it on the belt or whatever kind of material you have to um, make it like this. We also need scissors. We didn't mention that. We need yes. scissors. Now be careful with the scissors. So make sure always hold it like. This when you're not using it, yes, because when, if you don't, you might hurt yourself. Yes, if you slip and fall, bad. we already cut our safe to, to save time in this is what I made. Here's one eye, here's another eye, and then we have one black, one red. I did this black mouth. I think it's going to be pretty scary at night. Let me tell you about mine. So I did, I have these two eyes, they're like slimy kind of. And then I have this nose, and as you can see, it, like one side is black and one side is red. I have my mouth, and it matches with the black and red. But remember, we drew these and then cut it out of film. But you can basically do it however you want. So first I have orange um, little strut. No, they're not eyebrows. They're just like... Um, angry like wrinkles. They're like angry wrinkles, I guess. And these are the eyes. They're really like scary. They're like red eyes that are like devil eyes and stuff like that. So the next thing is I have my kind of angry... What is it called? Maybe pig nose? I don't know. <laughs> it's an angry nose. I'm going to glue it together. And the last thing I have is my huge mouth which is red and has zigzags, and everybody's going to scream when they see it. Now we have to ask your mom to bring, bring out the lanterns. lanterns. Mom. So Special guest mom. Mom, 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 I want the biggest one. They're all this big. One. Pass it no, down. Just pass mine. it down, please. No, that's all. Just passing them down. So this is the lantern, and you don't need to put a lead in it, but you could if you want to. It would look really cool with or without one. So now you're going to pick from the cheesecloth, whichever color you want. I want black. I want black too because I think that it gives more spookier vibes. Like, and, yeah. and it matches with my um, black nose. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this like scary. Kind of I'm a... Like <laughs> So, so what I suggest is because this is white and this is black and it's very thin, I suggest you double up and then drape it over so you don't see too much of the white through it. By doubling it up, it'll make it thicker. Whoa, you're so scary. So once you decide how you want to drape it, we're going to cut a hole in the top so we can put the string through and we can have it hang. Cut a, actually, you don't even need to cut a hole. I forgot how thin this fabric is. We put all the free cheese fabric on the um, lanterns, and we it's also put gloves cold. on because this glue right here is really, really strong. So and if we get it on our hands, then it'll stay forever. Yeah, 
and it's really dangerous if you get it or eat it. So guys, make sure not to eat the glue. It can give you cancer. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, just be careful careful all the time guys. So the next step is what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue or tape. I recommend glue because glue is probably yeah, strong, strong glue. And then you're going to take it and you're going to put a, a little, little bit, bit. A little bit because this glue is strong on your eye and then you're going to tip tape it where you want it. Stick it and then you're going to do the other eye and repeat it for all the steps until every uh -huh. single piece of your thing is glued on. Now the fun part, we're going to decorate this light and make it spooky. Okay, so Jersey, decide which part of it do you want to be the face of it? Light. This light part, okay. Yeah, so that's important start. because you want to know which part, you get, where you're going to put the face so you can decorate it. I'm going on the eye first. So Listen, when you, when you have the glue, no, put, no, it, no. put it down on the napkin, okay, since it won't stop coming out. Put it down on the napkin. So I just stick that right there. Um, so I'm gluing the eyes onto the lantern first. Oh, okay. I'm putting the second eye on. And me too. Here's my eyes. Oh, okay. Like it's so strong. This glue is strong, so make sure to be careful with the glue. Jersey said this glue is even too strong for the rock. <laughs> so far, I get the eyes and the little angry wrinkles. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm working on the mouth. Jersey's doing done. What he's doing. What? Let's see it. Whoa. Okay. Maybe space out the eyes a little bit. I think the eyes were too close to the nose. No? What do you think? No, because no, that's the center of the face. Okay. I and like it, Jersey. I, so I'm going to. Let's three, see what you got. Two, one. Ooh. Oh, Ava. That looks pretty good. Thank you. All I have left to do is the map. Right pretty... up here, like literally right here. We have hooks out here, we don't. We could hang it out, bro. It'd be good to hang it out here. Okay, guys, my final results. Woo! Oh, wow, Alexis. Woo! Wow. 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 I think we're all done, so we're going to show you the end result. So, guys, we, we worked really hard on this, and we're going to show you the end results. Yeah. Three, two, one. Woo! Woo. Wow, okay. Ooh. All right. Ooh, scary. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, Halloween isn't always about scariness. It's always sometimes about fun. And you can make DIY projects by yourself at home. So make sure to watch this full video. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. And make sure you do more videos. Subscribe and so on the more of cases. Thank you for watching.